so good morning so highway alignment and survey okay so once uh, we have to put a road on from particular place to particular place means you have to align alignment should be going on and after that surveying should be going on in the particular alignment so or alignment matter poda matanga we have three optionals okay three alignments vandu fix pannuvanga so based upon the certain criteria we can define whether it is a uh, whether which alignment is okay for that particular area particular location okay so alignment potadikaprama we after fixing the alignment also we can go for survey for the all the alignments and then we can fix the routes so based upon the length of the road based upon the curves based on the any monuments or any places crossed on bridges obligatory point should be crossed on so these are the basic criteria considered while doing the alignment and the survey we have two methods of survey basically first one is a traditional method that is as usual by using a tapes and tiered light we are using we are doing the survey okay and then modern met methods of surveying includes the aerial photography okay gps surveying so uh, if it is a forest area or the area we can uh, we can't able to go and survey means we can take a aerial photographs and we can find whether where is what the how the alignment will be on how the area will be so before the alignment itself on the particular location the surveying should be done and survey points are given after that only we can able to put the alignment okay so how the alignment will be so this is the basic thing reda survey pannadukapra da alignment panna mudiyum ena we can't able to find what is the uh, area for to, that is uh, geo, um, geography of the particular location okay so first survey after that only alignment vand alignment vand we can go for uh, many optionals based on the criteria so okay based on the place we can go for many option and the final ad additional division engineer or the senior engineer will fix the alignment this is okay or not okay this is actual process and the position or the layout of the center line of the highway on the road is called as an alignment okay so what the alignment is we can just fix the center line so center line marking so that we can do it in a building panirkeengla building la so we can do center line marking in a building foundation il pot pot enna pannuvanga center line marking solittu poduvanga so likewise in highway the center line marking of the highway is called as an alignment okay so highway alignment includes both it includes straight and curved path the deviation and the horizontal curves okay vertical alignment includes changes in level gradients and vertical curves so vertical alignments means we can know gradients and vertical curves okay so these we already know these are the requirements of the ideal alignment it should be short it should be easy it should be safe it should be economical so these are the four categories we can finalize the alignment so short means we should the two terminal stations so a and b are the terminal stations means the a to b okay it should be shortest distance and as far as possible it should be straight okay so but it will be, it will not be straight there will be some deviation but we can able to put it in a straight so that the length of the road will be reduced okay and then ec means it should be easy to construct so it is easy for the vehicles so the maximum extent ec gradients and curves should be provided there is no such much of deep gradients no sharp curves okay as much as possible we can avoid all those things and provide the alignment in a straight and a trans, uh, initial basic curves okay so why uh, if if the alignment is not straight also we do if you if the straight alignment we have so much of gradient so much of curves means we just avoid the alignment we know we don't need it will be short it should be sh short okay we can go for alternative alignment it should be lengthier than the oldest one but we can provide because we can avoid these curves okay there will be a valley or there will be a bridge inside there will be a hill inside hill in the particular alignment mean we can avoid that one we can take a diversion and we can go off okay and it it should be safe okay especially as the slopes embankment and cutting safe both from the construction and the operating sites okay so safe operation of vehicle 
safe geometric futures. Okay. So, na state alignment for the abdin solitude should not uh, give an unsafe location to the public. Okay. It should be safe also. And then, economical means it should have a total life cycle cost, consider the initial cost, maintaining cost, and the vehicle operating cost. Okay. So, what is this? So, total cost of the vehicle, total cost when the initial cost from the starting, maintain, operate, uh, construction, operate, operation, and maintenance cost. You should consider all the costs and then we and then we can know what is the revenue comes from that and what is the it is the road is necessary or not, really necessary or not. Okay. If we are going to put a road means what the thing is. We can consider whether it is required, whether we have to go by this road or not. Okay. So from the station to the terminal station if the road passes means what is the usage of the road? What is the revenue? What is the income from the road? How many total road users? So because of this, what is the, how many of them can get welfare? Well, how many of them can get the uh, easiest way of the track, uh, road? Okay. Access. So these are the basic points considered, obligatory points, traffic, geometric design, economics and other considerations, okay. So, obligatory points, we know that bridge site, main, uh, mountain, uh, tunnel, intermediate town, religious sites, uh, and then very costly structures, lakes and ponds should be, should not pass through, okay. Should pass through the bridge sites and mountains, but due to certain criteria, we can go through. Okay. So, these are the surveys carried out for the highway alignment. The first one is map study, recognition survey, preliminary survey, and final location and detailed survey. So, these are the basic four studies. Normal, whether it is a modern method or a traditional method, whatever the method is, we can first analyze the map. We yeah, study the map. So, how the area is, what is the geometry features of the area, and then recognition survey. So, certain surveys are carried out. So, we studied about the soil characteristics and all the things. And after that, preliminary survey. Preliminary survey means, so basic survey is done and then they can record it. And finally, location and detailed surveys are carried out. Okay. So, what is preliminary survey? So, to survey the various alternative alignment proposed after the reconnaissance and to collect all the necessary physical information and details of topography, drainage and soil. Okay. So, to collect all the necessary and physical information, so I proposed, so to survey the various alternative, alternative alignment, to survey the various alternative alignment, I recommend upon now, proposed after the recognizance and to collect all the necessary physical information and details of topography, drainage, soil. So, what are the physical information? Drainage, soil, topography, we can have to collect all the information. To compare the different proposals in view of the requirements of good alignment. So, different proposals, four proposals or three proposals, we can analyze which is good based upon the ideal alignment. Okay. So, estimate total quality, quantity of earthwork and other construction aspects to work out the alternative proposal. Three elements, what will be the cost of the earthwork? So, sometimes it will take high cost in certain alignments, okay. So, we can avoid that one, okay. So, the preliminary survey carried out in conventional approach, rapid approach and modern techniques. Conventional means we can use geode light, rapid means we can use some TPA, total stations and modern means we can go for GPS surveying, okay. So, basic preliminary survey one the, uh, to conduct the physical information and details of the topography, drainage and soil. Okay. So, uh, what are the things they can take is preliminary transfer survey, topographical futures. So, topographical futures means that would have, uh, that would have, uh, hips, uh, uh, valleys and the hills, any bridges or whatever it is. Okay. Leveling work should be carried out. Okay. Leveling work, drainage studies and horizontal data, sorry, hydrological data, Soil survey, so soil survey and material survey, soil survey indicates, soil survey, 
material survey and traffic studies and primary tra transfers okay so final location locate on the field by establishing the center line of the alignment okay. so detailed survey means the temp uh, temporary benchmarks are fixed leveling work carry pannuvanga drainage details they can fix and then closer intervals la horizontal curves vand they can give the levels and river crossing valleys of dinishna should be surveyed in the considerable distance and then topographical details vand they can give off and drawings of the soil profile okay that should be given off cpr value cpr value of the soil should be get and alignment is designed and Okay. So, what are the steps in new project work are map study, reconnaissance survey, preliminary survey, location of the final point and then it can fix the location. Okay. So, project it will be realigned, stretch of the road should be realigned and survey of the existing road, so observation of spot levels along with the center line and survey lines should be carried out. Okay. So, preparation and drawing, marking of the center line, earthwork for the thing, excavation and new bridges and the Culverts means it will, how the, it will be carried out, how the construction should be carried out, and new roads means how it should be stretched out. 